first came out they were so much more powerful and so much more reliable than anything else that they actually were a whole breed of airplanes designed just to take advantage of this new engine and it's just a great engine it's probably the most reliable radial engine well it's most certainly the most reliable radial engine ever built and it's probably darn near the most reliable piston engine ever built other than maybe the flat like homings clear of the prop This is the part my wife hates. So how many liters an hour? Uh, 90 to 100 liters an hour. There's three reasons to parachute out of this airplane. One is we had some mid-air collision, remote chance, but you know, like the airplane's not flyable. Second one, if it were on fire, uh, bad fire, like, you know, you can't stand the heat. Third one is if you accidentally fell out of the out of the airplane upside down. In any event, just pull the ripcord. On all accounts, miss large chunks of water, like big lakes, big roads, big railroad tracks, and big um, power lines. Land and then get out of the parachute because if a wind came up or a big truck or train went by, it could inflate the canopy and drag you. Clear the prop. <laughs>
continue the landing. Yes, we uh, usually try and land westbound uh, here at Rowena's Golf Course, but uh, there's a good wind out of the east, so we have to approach over the, the big cottonwood trees and then down onto the fairway here, And but the wind helps. Uh, it's a bit blind landing the steerman because the strip's narrow, so so long as you see grass on both sides, you know you're over the strip. Well, you just can't see a lot, so you sort of use your peripheral vision a lot and you have to uh, sort of look out the side of the airplane when you're coming over tall trees and make sure that you really are above them. And uh, then it's just using peripheral vision and, and on a narrow strip, you won't actually see the runway. I didn't actually see the runway we landed on when we touched down and rolled out. What you depend on is that you see an equal amount of grass on both sides and you just keep the airplane straight and it lands pretty short and uh, yeah, it's good fun.